Hello dear students welcome to part uh, 11 of the videos on amines and we shall be talking about the reaction of amines with hinzberg reagent you just have to grab uh, your pen and notebook so that you can take down notes for offline reference so are we ready to go reaction of amines with hinzberg reagent used as a method to test primary secondary and tertiary amines and also to separate primary secondary and tertiary amines what is hinzberg reagent it is nothing but benzene sulfonyl chloride it is written the formula is written as c6h5so2cl we can also depict benzene sulfonyl chloride as the ring SO2Cl we can either write it this way or C6H5SO2Cl is our Hinzberg reagent now how do we use it to identify primary secondary or tertiary amines and how do we use it to separate i've tried to depict this in the form of a very very simple chart so what we do is we shake the amine with hinzberg reagent and aqueous solution of an alkali we can either use potassium hydroxide or we can use sodium hydroxide if there is no reaction then your amine is a tertiary amine it's a 3 degree amine because tertiary amines will not show any reaction with hinzberg reagent and hence even in the presence of an alkali there is no reaction if there is some reaction that you see happening over there and you see that the product has completely dissolved so what we've got over here is a primary amine your unknown amine is primary primary means having the functional group nh2 on the other hand if the reaction does take place but you see a precipitate being formed or separating out meaning to say that the product which has been formed on the reaction of an amine with hinzberg reagent is insoluble in the alkali then you have a secondary amine at hand meaning to say the functional group is nh this helps us to identify primary secondary and tertiary amines let us now understand the logic behind it as to why this happens interestingly uh, along with benzene sulfonyl chloride or say instead of benzene sulfonyl chloride we can also use para toluene sulfonyl chloride so we have the compound para toluene sulfonyl chloride and what is para toluene sulfonyl chloride so first of all draw the structure of toluene so here we have C6H5 CH3 para means opposite to each other sulfonyl chloride as simple as that so if we have para toluene sulfonyl chloride this also gives us the same observations as we have seen in the case of hinzberg reagent to understand the behavior of primary secondary and tertiary amines we need to remember that our amines are nucleophiles they are nucleus loving species they are good nucleophiles and at the same time along we being uh, good nucleophiles they are basic in nature and this basic strength increases because of the presence of alkyl groups now because they are good nucleophiles and basic they will combine with something which is acidic they will also combine with something which is electrophilic that means something which wants electrons so our benzene sulfonyl chloride does something similar here the primary amine it's got two hydrogen two replaceable hydrogen now simply understand the logic over here there is negative so sulfur requires a positive charge the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen are offered to the sulfur and they form an intermediate compound over here 
वेर इन द नाइट्रोजन हैज द एल्काइल ग्रुप एंड आर सल्फोनामाइड रिमेंबर द बेन्जामाइड एंड द एसेटामाइड दैट वी मेड सो एन एल्काइल बेन्जीन सल्फोना सल्फोनामाइड this still has an acidic hydrogen attached to the nitrogen this hydrogen attached to the nitrogen is acidic because of which it dissolves the product form dissolves in the alkali so it is soluble and why is it acidic yes of course you know that we've got the electron withdrawing sulfonyl group we are not going into the details of the movement of the electrons because it will make it more confusing ultimately what is happening is the hydrogen from the nh2 group and the cl are getting uh, released as hcl and we have the product formed over here now look at secondary amine again in the case of secondary amine h and cl and i can again form a product over here but notice both of the groups over here attached to the nitrogen are alkyl groups there is no acidic hydrogen and because there is no acidic hydrogen there is no reaction with aqueous alkali tertiary amines on the other hand yes we know that they are basic but then i don't have anything to offer to the cl there is no hydrogen over here to help its chlorine move out with the result there is no reaction that takes place between a tertiary amine and benzene sulfonyl chloride so tertiary amines do not have an acidic hydrogen now try writing and try identifying or try writing the reaction between ethanamine diethylamine and triethylamine try completing the same reaction the only thing is i have taken r r r everywhere what do you have to take is you have to take c2h5 go ahead write the reaction to gain confidence in what you have learned our next video will be on the reaction of amines with nitrous acid so stay connected because it's a very important test for amines